What's going on, my friends? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a very good day. Uh, I am having a very good day, if you're interested. <laughs> because the weather is finally coming about. <laughs> and we've been having very, very hot days, but also the promise of you know, showering rains in the next coming days. And right now, I'm sitting here in my backyard. Um, and the weather is just lovely. The air is flowing, uh, there's a lot of wind, uh, and the temperature is very, very nice. Uh, I have very, very few minutes uh, of daylight left, but I thought I'd give you a very short update on this little guy. Uh, it was a little red oak from uh, scratch, the one that I was growing in colander. Uh, in fact, if you see my previous videos where I talk about growing bonsai and colanders, you can see that this is the one that I compare to that one over there, yeah, which is, uh, you know, bigger. You can see the, this year's growth. And uh, this is the one that was growing in the colander. I finally decided to transplant it into a bigger pot because now I'm moving into, you know, ramification. Mm, you can see that it's been damaged by the sun here. Uh, that is complete negligence from my part, but it's been growing very very nicely and like I said uh, I, I'm just going to focus on ramification now So you can see that I removed this branch here and I decided to let this as a sacrifice branch uh, And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to remove the leaves that have been damaged by the Sun mm. And uh, I'm going to prune back to where we got buds so that way we can ramify in this season yeah so for example here we have a very good uh, example of what I want to do let me just focus there if I can there we go uh, now I'm just gonna you know clip the tips so that way the adjacent buds that we have right here become active like here you can see that because I chopped this little branch off this little bud became active and uh, you know I could fairly uh, I could fairly use that uh, to continue developing the design. I'm also going to remove dead little branches. I thought this, this was dead, but I'm, I'm just finding out in this exact moment that this little thing over here is not dead. So I'm going, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it, you know. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this one just because that one has a better. Better direction. Uh this one, so here we have no bots. We have those, but I think it's uh rather risky to cut it because we might get hmm. We might not get another little bud from there if we remove all of this section that doesn't have buds until here. So I think I'm going to leave that for the moment. And this section over here, it's really, it has been really damaged by the sun, but it's vigorous. And I think I'm going to go ahead and remove that just so that these buds over here remain active. You can see my Japanese quality, <laughs> Japanese grade. Uh, wiring quality <laughs> so sorry sorry if there's any japanese in the audience which i doubt but anyway look uh, i think this gives you an idea of what i want to do with this little tree yeah this is going to be the the next little step for this little guy so pruning the tips will encourage it over here will encourage back budding. Remove the leaves that have been damaged by the sun so that way new leaves can emerge. And uh, you can see that the little trunk is, uh, you know, it's interesting, it's a uh, more naturalistic style. So, yeah, uh, I really like it. Another thing that I was doing right now, enjoying this fine weather, was uh, starting 
some other projects. <laughs> uh, in this case, one with the exact same species, but I just wired it immediately and I transplanted it to this little training pot, rectangular training pot with nice bonsai soil. So I hope this little guy can grow. This one has been planted there as well for a couple of weeks. And you can see that it's one of the Diodar cedars that I've also worked with. And that one over there is the, the other tree that I showed you in that video where I told you about growing bonsai. Let me just get it uh, closer to the camera so I can show it, uh, you know, all the details. And here we have it. Growing nicely. Tons of new little buds. Yeah. Huge apex. Sacrifice apex. And, you know, more and more growth from the lower section. This is getting very, very near to a, a pruning session. And in I think this autumn, this autumn will be the time where I transplant this to a pot, a bigger pot, or maybe a pot regular size, but not a colander, so I can fix that planting angle. It's right now sitting like this, but of course the planting angle will be this. You know, a little bit of wiring, and this little guy will be on its way to becoming a nice little showing bonsai. Fireworks. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I hope you like this short video. I hope everyone is doing very well. Thank you for watching my videos. A huge milestone, actually. We're now 3,000 people in this channel. So that's amazing. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, sorry if I haven't responded to questions that you've left in the comments in the past. Uh, but I've had a couple of weeks that have been absolutely booked, completely filled with things that I need to do. So, sorry, but I, I, I'll try and keep an eye on them from this day on so I, you know that we can continue to grow as a community of bonsai and gardening lovers yeah so like i said i hope you're doing very well i hope you're having a very nice day please drop any comments questions doubts or anything in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one bye